How's it going, everybody? <laughs> so I want to look at May the 4th, it happening on May the 4th. You know, of May the 4th be with you, the whole Star Wars thing. And in Donnie Darko, they eclipse the sun. Then I'm going to have to turn up the volume. Patrick Swayze represents the eclipse. We know the big eclipse is the one that makes the X across America. August 21st, 2017 to the April 8th. So Patrick Swayze is going to come up and he's going to eclipse the sun and they're going to say, sun, sun. And of course, they're talking about the sun. S-U-N, not S-O-N. Sun. Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko? What the heck's going on here? I say it twice. Son, son. Yeah, I missed the first one. And Swayze is going to walk up and block the sun. He's going to represent the eclipse. Sorry, I'm eating. Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko stands for Donald's darkened right eye. What the heck's going on here? So Swayze who did Point Break, which was all about breaking point. The breaking point is when. Exactly. Everything is about the right eye when. So. Oh, most important part. Donnie wakes up and looks at his arm. Because Frank the Rabbit told him in 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds, that's the day the world will end. 28 days, 6 hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds. So this will be when Frank um, tells him there's October 2nd when Ghost in the Machine came out. That was 1988 was Year of the Dragon. It's Year of the Dragon now. So it was 2012 when they did their big ritual at the Olympics and the Dark Knight Rises came out because the Dark Knight will rise. And so when does Frank tell him? Um, let me find it for you. Commentary, commentary, fair use for educational purposes. Six hours. And then and he says 42 minutes, 12 seconds. Okay. And there, of course, is the um, right eye. Right eye of Zechariah eleven seventeen of the Antichrist deadly wound. There's the rabbit, of course. We know all the world's a stage. The AI writes the scripts. That's all this up. Alec Baldwin did this on Saturday Night Live and literally said, I feel like I'm having a Donnie Darko moment or flashback. I forget I forget ex the exact words. So you get the idea. Well, 28 days after the eclipse, which is what was written on Donnie's arm when he woke up, it's 28 days later. And there's movies called 28 Days Later and all that. 28 Days After the Eclipse is May 6th. Well, if that's the day the world will end, that means he spiritually rises on the third day. The Dark Knight Rises came out two days after the Dark Knight. Yes, four years apart, but July 18th to July 20th. So you see what they did there. He rose on the third day. It's a spiritual rising that the Antichrist rises from the abyss because he's simply just possessed by Satan. And he will be in hiding. He does not appear to the earth, has risen from the dead, fake risen, because it's a body devil switch, fake risen until what is known as the abomination of desolation over there in that land where Jesus roamed. And 28 days after the eclipse is May 6th, happened to be the day my mom passed away. And I always look at personal ciphers, of course, because the Lord's, this is the Lord's work. The bad guys just carry it out. The demonic entities carry out what the Lord, the Lord has ordained the exact day all this stuff will happen. 
God said, I create evil, I create darkness. I, the Lord, do all these things. Uh, Isaiah 45, 7. He said he's even created the evil for the day of evil. Proverbs 16, 4, which is the abomination of desolation. So you got May the 4th be with you would be the event day. Then he would rise on the third day or two days later, May 6. That's 28 days after the eclipse. And Christopher Walk. Now, what, what takes place on May 4th is the Kentucky Derby. Kentucky has been beating Devil's Advocate University. They came and got Keanu Reeves, the Devil's Advocate. That Devil's Advocate is the Antichrist. Keanu Reeves came in. They came and got Keanu Reeves out of Gainesville, Florida, in the movie The Devil's Advocate, and said, Go Gators, while they were doing shots. Christopher Walken was in view to a kill. He was front and center in the best Super Bowl commercial. They made sure it was the best Super Bowl commercial. And it was by far the best Super Bowl. But there was one other one that was good, but his was the best. And I was laughing out loud at it. Why did they feature Chris Walken in the Super Bowl commercial? Because he's the villain in view to a kill. View to a kill's backdrop is all about horse racing, all about horse racing, all about horse racing. Kentucky's been beating Devil's Advocate University in football. They never beat Florida. 32, 33 years, I don't I forget what it was. They've been beating, uh, they've been beaten by Florida, beaten by Florida. Florida's owned them. All of a sudden, now Kentucky's owning Florida. They've won the last three years in a row. And four out of the last six, but the last three years in a row. So they've been killing the Devil's Advocate. Get it? And... I've been saying if Trump ever goes to Kentucky, that's extremely high watch date because of the fact that Kentucky's been killing the devil's advocate or the Antichrist in football, which is their esoteric world. All football is fake. They've all got radios in their helmets. They're all listening to all the coaches on both teams. I guarantee you both teams, both coaches, not only can talk to each other, but the players can hear both coaches, both teams talking. Everybody knows what everybody's doing. It is, and it's that's why I break it down at Tilling Truth Three, the fake football. So you got Chris Walken featured in the Super Bowl commercial. There's Chris Walken in View to a Kill, which is all about horse racing. There's James Bond in View to a Kill, all about horse racing with a horse racing hat and all that stuff. And um the Kentucky Derby is May 4th. Don't you just know Mr. Big's going to attend that? So that's a very high watch day. Very high watch day. Is there anything else? Let me think. No, I think that's it. Love you. I'll put this on all my platforms.